food shortage, extreme weather and societal tension. If you're not worried about the climate, you're not paying attention. It's like the forces of greed versus the forces of nature. Optimism bias won't stop the melt in the glaciers. I go by the name The Accidental Rapper um, because I never had any intention of becoming a rapper. It kind of just happened through, through my activism and it kind of came, came by accident. We keep kicking the can when it's clear as can be. If Mother Nature was a man, we'd take her seriously. I campaign on a lot of a lot of different issues, but um, for me and for a lot of people, you can see the, the climate crisis becoming more and more imminent, I guess, and uh, it also affects everybody. If Europe was a school, we'd be back in a class. We need to end fossil fuels, forget fracking for gas. It also exacerbates all of the other issues. Um, you know, if, if if half your country or a third of your country is underwater, like in Pakistan. Um, then all of the, the existing resource inequalities and income inequalities um, start to come to the fore again. The global south faced drought, floods and famine, while the north refused to pay for loss and damage. There was a, a report published about two years ago saying that 90% of people in Ireland are concerned about the climate crisis. Um, but people kind of don't know what to do about it. It's quite an abstract issue, or it feels that way anyway. But I can pick out the key points of it, make it digestible in, a, in an entertaining format about three minutes long um, and give people that connection and give them the understanding and kind of, I suppose, inform people um, without, without boring them to tears, hopefully. Prioritise the planet. It's critical now. See, there's no silver lining to a digital cloud. In some ways, I think COP27 and COP in general is about commitments and promises. And we need to push our government to make those promises. But the real action happens the week after COP and the 365 days after COP when they come back and we have to hold them to those promises and that's where we see the impact. Um, the discussions themselves, sure, they're, they're great for, for meet and greets and for getting photo opportunities and having world leaders come together um, to make those pledges but the, the proof is in, is in the execution and that's where people need to be engaged. I wish that our leaders could learn from our youths because the clock keeps ticking and soon will be time out. If the planet was a bank we would have rescued it by now.